What is up you guys? My name is Roberto Gallegos. If you don't know me, I am a 22 year old industrial engineer in the making. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about habits. How do you build habits? How do you create these habits that we all desire to have? How do habits work most importantly? And today I wanted to share with you four methods that have been help, helping me out form these good habits like reading, like journaling, going to the gym, all this, these good habits that I usually do throughout my day. How have I formed them? How have I created them? Because many people struggle with this. This is like a, this is one of those things that we unconsciously do. We create bad habits or good habits unconsciously and we just start doing them and doing them. And through time, they start compounding and start getting bigger and they become a part of our life and they become even harder to get rid of if it's a bad habit. But the good thing here is that I can teach you how to make good habits and how to get rid of bad habits, okay? so. Listen closely, I'm gonna give you four tips here. I'm gonna dwell a little bit into them and explain them super quick to you guys so you guys can understand what I'm trying to get across here with you guys, okay? They're super simple to, to apply, but it just requires consistency and it requires you to literally be applying them every single day, okay? So trust me, I've done this. I've, I've done these four tips and they've worked for me. The exercising habit, I did it unconsciously, but when I realized how I did it, I actually used one of these techniques, one of these tips that I'm about to pass you. And for my journaling, my reading habits, my waking up early habits, all these habits, I created with these tips consciously. Like I actually worked to create them. So before I even begin with this topic, I just want like quick disclaimer here. Like if you do get something informative out of this or if you do apply this to your life and it helps you out in the long run be sure to hit that like button and without further ado let's begin number one make it obvious what do i mean by this by the way i do want to cite this i got this this technique from the book atomic habits if you guys want to read that but i actually distilled this information for you guys so it's easier for you guys to digest so i'm not exactly plagiarizing this or anything i just want to just get the good information out of there and explain it to you guys in a way you guys can understand it. So number one, many of us are exposed to bad environments, which we associate with some cues that trigger these habits. For example, when we try and work from our bed, our mind obviously associates it with sleep. So it automatically says, oh, we're sleeping. Oh, so we're, we're gonna sleep today. We're gonna be, you can't work from your bed. You have to expose yourself to a new environment so your mind is fresh and it says, okay, so what are gonna be the cues to trigger new habits? Like if you wanna start reading, make sure you find a new environment that's not your room or it's not near your bed so your mind doesn't think, oh, we're gonna sleep or, or we're gonna play video games or something like that because your mind has associated this, this part of your room with games, with chilling, with, all this stuff. So if you want to associate your mind with good stuff, you have to go into a new environment. Maybe go to a coffee shop, maybe go to the living room and grab a book and start reading. And your mind will quickly associate the living room with reading. So the reason why we make bad habits is because the environment we're in, we associate these bad habits with it. So our mind, for example, if we don't want to go exercise, it automatically associates being in a room to stay in our room. And we don't, we don't go to exercise because our room is comfy and our mind just associates it with, okay, let's just stay here. So that's basically how these habits are formed. They're formed by cues that trigger these habits. And these cues are made by new environments. So it's a pretty simple, but if you apply this, as I'm telling you, you will get results. Your environments will determine your daily habits, okay guys? So moving on to number two, let's go. Make it attractive. What do I mean by this? When you do a, when you do a habit, when you, when you get that cue to trigger that habit, you have to do a desirable action, like maybe go play video games right after you finish your homework, right after you finish reading, go play video games or do something desirable that your mind likes to do. And your mind is gonna associate like, oh, so, after we finish reading, we're gonna go play video games. Okay, then I'll just get through this so I can go play video games. So the habit loop is basically controlled by dopamine. Every time we finish a habit and we do something desirable, we're gonna get dopamine because that desirable action just released dopamine. So your mind's gonna be like, oh, okay, so we just finished this action. It gave us dopamine, so we should repeat that habit tomorrow or maybe the next day after that. And 
your mind basically associates this with repeating it. So right after you complete that habit, be sure to complement it with an action that's gonna be desirable, an action that you're gonna maybe want to do. I don't know what, what you like to do. If you like to go exercise, you can go exercise right after you finish reading if that's a desirable action for you. And that will basically trick your mind into doing it again and again and again because it's releasing dopamine and it's something that your mind likes. So that's basically the thing I did for, for exercising. After I finish exercising, I usually eat a bar. So I, I'm looking forward to that bar because I wanna keep going back to go exercise so I can have my, my protein bar right after that because I like my protein bar. So that's just one simple example I can give you. But in summary, that task you wanna make a habit, connect it to a desirable action you are gonna wanna do, okay? Whatever you guys wanna do, just connect that and keep and repeat that, repeat that right after your task. And your mind is gonna be releasing dopamine and, and wanting to go back at it again. So moving on to number three, make it easy. What do I mean by this? Start out small, this is super simple, okay guys? But many of us just wanna eat the world on the first bite. So I'm gonna put a quick example of this. If you wanna start reading, read one page a day for a week, then read two pages a day for a week, then three pages for another week, and just start increasing your daily load. Because the thing is, you guys, that our minds are programmed to literally wanna do the things that require the least amount of work. So that's just how our minds work, I don't know why, but as long as you begin any task with very small effort, don't make it hard for yourself. Your mind won't associate it with something, some huge task that it won't wanna do the next day. So begin small, start out small. Don't wanna try and eat the world on the first bite. That's how I like to put it. If you wanna go to the gym, go for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, then 30 minutes, then start building up from there. And whenever you don't wanna go, just show up show up there. If you don't want to exercise, that's fine. Your mind is going to be like, oh, so we're already here. We, we associated exercising with being here. So we have to exercise. So as long as you're showing up to the gym, I assure you, you're going to make that a habit and you're going to make, and you're going to make exercising a habit. Okay. So moving on to number four, create accountability for yourself. What do I mean by this? For me, what I usually did before I when I read this book, Atomic Habits, that it showed me how to be accountable with myself was write a calendar and then write each task on each day of the calendar and cross out the tasks that you've done each day. And that will give you a sense of satisfaction, which will, will in turn release dopamine and your mind will like it. Your mind likes to be satisfied and likes to feel like it's moving in the right direction. So whenever you are finishing these tasks, reward yourself by crossing out that task and it's super satisfying trust me guys you, you you're gonna realize it whenever you guys do it so write down on the calendar every task even if it's just one so write it down and cross it out whenever you finish it okay so it's a super simple task but it will give your mind a sense of success okay so just make sure you write on your calendar each day your task and that will in turn even make you a new habit of writing the things you have to do on a calendar okay so that's two birds in one stone. So whenever you finish each task, just cross them out every day and that will give your mind a sense of satisfaction and it will make a sense of accountability for yourself, okay? So these are the four steps that I took whenever I consciously wanted to make a habit, whenever I wanted to add a habit to my daily routine. These are the four steps I really took and I started implementing these four steps for each habit I wanted to do but it's only one at a time. Remember guys, that's super important too. One at a time, okay? I did these four steps and I just kept going, kept going, and I started forming my daily habit of reading. Right now I'm reading actually 60 pages. That's something for me like, dude, I started out like 10 pages and I'm just reading 60 pages a day now. So, so you can imagine how that small habit of reading 10 pages compounded into 60 pages a day. So you can see how this works. So these are basically my four steps and they've told me a lot in my life. Um, if I can really give you any more advice, that would be it. That basically is it for this video, guys. So I hope you did enjoy and you did get something out of it. If you did, you know, you could like, subscribe, and turn on post bell notifications as it does really help me out. And it does really help the channel grow. So if you did enjoy, you already know what to do, guys. So that will be basically it for this video, guys. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next video.